Coming up on Torrance Today, Veterans Appreciation Week continues with another glimpse into City Cable's virtual appreciation video. The theme of honoring our veterans continues on weekends in Torrance, and our local community college welcomes thousands of people for college night. It's all coming up right now on Torrance Today. Welcome to Torrance Today. I'm Kirk Lines. It's 4 p.m. on Thursday, November 9th. I hope your week is wrapping up nicely. Thank you so much for joining us. Here is our first story. Veterans Day is this Saturday, November 11th. City Hall will be closed tomorrow, along with all city offices, libraries, and Torrance Unified School District schools in observance of the holiday. Banks and many government services will also be closed. Torrance Transit buses will operate on their normal schedule. Here in Torrance, we're celebrating our veterans all week long. City Cable prepared a virtual appreciation video honoring our local heroes. Torrance is a community that specifically really honors its veterans and I'm proud to be part of that. Thank you to all our veterans for your service. I would just like to say thank you so much for all your service and all you do. We all really appreciate you. I just wanna tell you that I appreciate you so much, as well as my entire family. You're worth it, and we know it, and God bless you. I'd really like to thank you for your service. My dad was an Army veteran, so i just like to really thank Dad and thank all of those who have served our wonderful country. You can watch the entire video on Facebook, YouTube, and right here on City Cable. Another great way to honor our veterans is by getting to know them. You can do just that at the Torrance Historical Society and Museum this Sunday, November 12th. It's, it's hosting an event called Visit with a Veteran, and it allows participants to pull up a chair, enjoy some light refreshments, and say thank you to our veterans. Veterans who helped protect our country during World War II, Korean, Vietnam, and other wars will be there. Visit with a Veteran takes place from 2 to 4 p.m. at 1345 Post Avenue. Just before that event is a virtual one featuring Congressman Ted Lieu, who also happens to be a veteran. He served in active duty for the United States Air Force, then stayed on its reserve for a total of 25 years before retiring with the rank of Colonel in 2015. He and others who served our country will share their stories. The virtual forum takes place from 1 to 2 p.m. on Sunday, November 12th. For more information on how to register for the event, call 323-651-1040. District 1 Council Member John Kaji will lead a community meeting one week from today. It takes place from 6 to 8 p.m. on Thursday, November 16th at the North Torrance Library located at 3604 Artesia Boulevard. It is part of Torrance in Action where city leaders provide overviews and updates on projects taking place throughout the city and especially in the district represented by the council member. The gathering also gives attendees an opportunity to ask questions and provide feedback. El Camino College Night took place yesterday, introducing thousands of people to what life can look like as a warrior. Very exciting to see all of our prospective students um, who are interested in coming to El Camino and checking out all the resources that we have. And this is actually the biggest year that we've had so far, so it's even more exciting. I hope that everyone gets like a resource and an opportunity to kind of branch out and visit more things that they wouldn't explore. And it's a great opportunity to learn people, meet new people, and just learn new things. Our campus serves over 30,000 students a year, so this is a huge event for us to get new students to come on board, uh, get exposed to the majors that are here on campus, and uh, really decide that uh, El Camino is the place for them. It's important to hold an event like this because although El Camino College has been around for 75 years, believe it or not, there are many people who, although we're in their backyard, this is the first time they set foot on campus. If you're interested in um, checking out El Camino, I always recommend to come by any time. Please check out all the incredible resources that we have to offer. If you missed this event, request a tour by reaching out to the school at elcamino.edu. 
The Los Cancioneros Master Corral kicked off its 75th anniversary season with a gala fundraiser. Putting on the Ritz was the theme of the night's event. More than 100 attendees enjoyed dinner and a mini concert. The Master Corral began performing for the community in 1949 when a dozen neighbors in the Hollywood Riviera section of Torrance formed a small community chorus. Since then, the group has grown to more than 50 singers, and they perform locally as well as at some of the most prestigious venues around the world. The chorale is led by Robert Allen Petker, a conductor and composer who has more than 250 published works to his name. The chorale's 75th concert season will begin with a holiday concert at the James Armstrong Theater in the Torrance Civic Center next month. For more information, visit lcmasterchorale.com. And also at the Armstrong Theater, the South Bay Conservatory will be performing Sweeney Todd, the demon, of Bar the demon barber of Fleet Street. The musical tells the story of an unjustly exiled barber who returns to 19th century London seeking vengeance. The South Bay Conservatory is a Torrance-based nonprofit educating performers from Torrance and its surrounding communities for nearly 60 years. The performances run from Thursday, November 16th through Saturday, November 18th. For more information and to purchase tickets, visit SouthBayConservatory.com. As we head into the weekend, be sure to catch the latest episodes of Weekends in Torrance. On Friday, meet a special family who honored three generations of military heroes through our city's military banner recognition program. I'm so proud to be able to see their banners up on Torrance Boulevard in the city where all of us grew up in. Stacy Toji says she and her husband Justin sponsored these banners because it's important for their family to preserve their legacies. Growing up as a Japanese American, especially here in Torrance where there are so many Asian Americans, it's a story that we all know and we all grew up with, but I think a lot of people aren't familiar with it. On Saturday, watch a recap of Nomad 2, the second edition of the Torrance Art Museum's contemporary art pop-up that features an artist who's also a veteran. My piece is about me. It's sort of talking about when I was in the military. The leg is my casting of my own leg and the foot and it's sort of like the natural with the jagged edges of being in the military. There's not a lot of artists who served in the military for the length that I've served. I served 25 years and I was in Iraq in 2009-2010 and you know I just kind of think about that that a lot of people don't know that part of me and I think it's very important for them to know that role that it played. And on Sunday, meet a group of Vietnam veterans who spend a Saturday morning blessing a new sign dedicated to them along a stretch of Pacific Coast Highway in South Torrance. It keeps present the sacrifices and service that Vietnam veterans made um, during the Vietnam era. And I think that, that is a very uh, significant if we can keep that memory alive because there's so many people that served they were either drafted or they enlisted but they stepped forward and served their country all this and more on friday saturday and sunday right here on torrance city cable still ahead on this thankful thursday we recognize one of the many efforts being made to keep our city looking its absolute best when we come back in 60 seconds If you need to do something to feel okay to drive, you're not okay to drive. Don't drive buzzed. When it comes to making plans, you are the best. What about those barbecues you plan in detail for your family? Or your daughter's first costume party? It was out of this world. The same way you plan each detail for those moments, start planning to protect you and your loved ones from a natural disaster. Sign up for local weather and emergency alerts. Prepare an emergency kit and make a family communications plan. Protecting your family is the best plan you can make.
At the end of every episode of Torrance Today, we want to share a positive story that fits the theme for the day. On this thankful Thursday, we'd like to call attention to a beautification project taking place in the city. The Hawthorne Bridge allows trains to pass over Hawthorne Boulevard at 190th Street. City leaders felt it was in need of some TLC, so they decided to give it a facelift with approval from the city council. Crews began power washing the bridge on Monday, preparing it for a new paint job. Work has been taking place every night this week, and about a third of the painting has been completed at this time. We're told it should be fully repainted by early next week. So the next time you drive down Hawthorne Boulevard, take note of the, new, the bridge's new look and know that it's part of the city's commitment to keeping Torrance looking good. Well, that's our show for today. Let us know if you have a positive story to tell by emailing us at torrancetoday at torrentca.gov. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you back here on Monday with more news from and for our Torrance community. Have a good weekend.